You know, when we get information about when certain things will be released, thinking that's going to be it's going to be great to see see it when it's released. But then when we hear that it might be pushed back by a few months, we're thinking, okay, we can wait a few more months. When we hear it gets pushed back to almost a year or two, maybe due to certain situations, that's when we're like, okay, maybe they have a few more things they need to do. Production-wise, maybe they're behind something. We don't really know. Now, the Archie Sonic comic books have definitely gone through a lot over the past several months. The last issue that we got this year was about 290, I believe. For me, at least, it was 290. And there's a lot more that needs to be founded. Apparently, some websites, comic websites, have removed the subscription option, and some have changed the, have, they still have it, but sometimes the dates could be indifferent. One commenter sent me a link to a shared file through the Steam community. Apparently, this caption, this picture caption that they sent me, this screenshot was intriguing. Now, the subscription for Sonic the Hitchhog was up there. So apparently the comic's still around. But it said something that really disturbed people. Or at least disturbed this reader, this fan, this commenter. And what disturbed them was the fact that it said the next release date would be December 27th, 2017. Now, I kind of hard find that hard to believe that that would be the next release date. I really do. Because sometimes when people show screenshots, they could sometimes use different software to modify said screenshot just to mess with people. And if that is the case with this screenshot, I'll provide the link below you can judge for yourself. Then whoever did this, I asked that person why. I mean, I understand the Sonic fan base can be a little overbearing, it could be controversial, it, be, it could be the kind of fan base that you're like, why are you guys even in existence? Why are you guys even around? Why do you have such a passion? And, you know, they, those could be, val I guess, valid reasons in their mind. So let's say that this is a fake one, and somehow someone modified it to make it look real. Unless Archie Comics themselves come out and say that December 27th, 2017 is the legit release date for the next Sonic subscriptions, for the next Sonic issue, unless Archie Comics comes out and says it themselves, then I, ha I find it hard to believe. I really do. Now, with that said, even though I find it hard to believe, unless Sega and Archie come out and officially say something, I will play advocate here and basically look at the possibility that it could be real. Now, if this release date of December 27th, 2017 is real, there could be several reasons for it. One, one is what I've said before. See, I mentioned before in an, in an on-screen video that it did before I went into work or during a break at work, or whenever. I basically said that the synopsis is to be determined. Now, what that means is basically the synopsis, well, it wasn't to be determined, it was basically removed. It was canceled. And in my opinion, there's a reason for this. You see, Archie Comics in Sega, in Sega of Japan could be making a deal. Now, I mentioned in this one video that maybe the deal going down is Sega is okay with all the characters in there, but they want the main focus to be on the game cast. In other words, like I mentioned in that video, let's say a town needs saving, and you got the Freedom Fighters there to help, but instead of 
it being the group of the Sad AM Freedom Fighters along with Sonic and Amy and Tails. Instead, maybe Sega's trying to work out a deal towards like, yeah, you could have the Freedom Fighters help, but the main savers, the main heroes that save everything and save the day need to be Sonic, Amy, Tails. The game cast need to be the ones that do it. Maybe that's, that's why. Maybe that's the reason for the change. Maybe a lot of the synopsis for stories that Ian Flynn, Aaliyah Baker, and all the writers in between, the creative staff, had going is probably being changed around to where now you could have the same stories, but instead of the focus being on other characters, it's on the game cast only. And if that is the case, I've got a question to ask Sega. You got Sonic Forces coming out. You have Sonic Mania coming out. We get the fact that the game cast is your bread and butter. We get that. You don't have to constantly shove it down our throats. We get the fact that the game cast is your bread and butter. But what's made the comic so successful is the fact that it doesn't focus on just the game proportion the game proportion of the franchise. No, it expands upon it. And you, Sega, need to understand that. That this is a different avenue. Not everything has to be like the games. I mean, what, what does Sega want if this re next release date for the comic is legit? What do they want? An issue to be like one level? Be like, okay, Sonic and the Freedom Fighters pass this level on this issue. Tune in next issue to see whether they'll try to pass the next level. And you can get hit to how to pass the levels of the games yourself by what? reading the comics. Seriously. Is that what, Archie, is that what Sega wants in the comics? Because that's stupid. I mean, Ian Flynn, Aaliyah Baker, and all those that create the stories of the comics, they put as many hints, many references, and acknowledgments to the games that they don't have to do it on a constant basis. And if this is a legit release date, and again, like I said, I find it hard to believe unless Archie and Sega give us some kind of confirmation themselves. If this is a legit release date, eight. Now, it's not Archie that has the explaining to do. It's Sega. I mean, Archie will probably tell us that, yeah, we'll probably come out and say, if they want to, they'll probably come out and say, yeah, the reason for it is all the stories we had planned, we have to rewrite now. We have to rewrite the synopsis because now we've got to focus in this direction and not the direction we want to focus in. And that's not good if that's the case. That's not good. You know, a lot of people always wonder why does, you know, why does certain seasons of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic get delayed a little bit? Or why they push so far back instead of starting automatically up? Because maybe there are certain episodes and stories they want to do, but then they can't because they got to either edit it, edit out certain scenes that they created, shorten certain scenes, maybe remove, maybe rework the entire episode as a whole. And, and that really pisses people off because it's like, Why? Why do this? Let me give you another example. Another example. Smurfs. Lost Village just came out. This movie was supposed to come out earlier last year. Got moved back, moved back, moved back. And why? Well, because of the release of other movies that might dominate it? Maybe. Or maybe it's the fact that one of the main reasons I understood is they had to rewrite certain scenes. They had to reproduce certain scenes in certain moments. Maybe they had to rewrite certain elements of the story because it didn't fit well. That's ba and it, because of those production behind the scenes situations, Lost Village kept getting pushed back and pushed back into the release date it recently had. Could that be the same situation with Sonic? Because there have been comics in the past. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves, people. There have been comics in the past where they have been delayed so much that when they finally arrive, there's a synopsis you read for one issue that you get is totally different than this, that the synopsis you read before has changed to a different one. And if that is the case, like I said, then it would explain why the delay is happening. But if I'm Ian Flynn... If I'm Archie Comics, if I'm Sega, of, Sega overall, I, I come out in some shape or form and I explain to the fans, to the subscribers, to the people, 
that support your comic. I explain to them what's going on. By now, we should have been reading Sonic. What, what, what should we have been reading? Let me see. By now, not only should we be done, we, should we, we have been done with Genesis, Genesis of a Hero, but we should be reading Sonic 292, Sonic 293. We should have those in our hand. We should be reading Sonic Universe 94, 95, 96, 97. Well, at least 94 and 5. The Freedom Fighter Saga. We should be reading those. And yet we're not due to a behind-the-scenes issues. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, it's licensing, they're still negotiating, contractual deals. It's like, it shouldn't take that long. And the only other thing I can think of is if this is legit. If this is legit. Okay? If it's legit, the only thing I'm thinking of is Ian Flynn, Aaliyah Baker, and all of them in between at that creative side of the comic are rewriting and redrawing Every issue they had planned originally for something else to something that they had to agree upon. That's the only that's the only reason I can think of the delay. I mean, you honestly think Ian Flynn is like, you know, he's sitting there thinking, okay, you know, I got all these other projects that great. It's keeping me busy. But don't you think he's wondering when is he going to be able to release the next synopsis for a com for the next Sonic issue or Sonic Universe issue? He's sitting back there wondering what the heck's going on, and if. He, and I'm thinking, Ian, why don't you just tell us? Why don't you just tell us? If you have respect for the fans that support your work, that you, you by far, more so than anybody, know what it's like to be in our position as fans, as a fan, why, why won't you let us know? Why won't you tell us something? The truth is, folks, we need to get confirmation of what's going on around here because, honestly, it is pathetic what's happening right now. It is pathetic, it is stupid, and it needs to stop. It needs to stop. We need an answer. We need an answer. But like I said, until we hear from Archie Comics and Sega, I don't believe that date. I believe that could have been modified. Someone could have modified that, put it up there, and made it look like Steam Community repeat, reported that. Let me ask you this. Has TSSZ reported it? No. Has SaturdayMorningSonic.com reported it? No. Has SonicSatAM.com or SatAMSonic.com reported it? No. Has Sega, has the Sega forms reported it? No. Sonic Stadium reported it. No. Like I said, it's TSSZ reported it. No. Nobody has reported it yet. Not even Archie Comics and Sega have come out and said something. No representatives, not Victor Golick, not Ian Flynn, whoever. Nobody has come out. So I still find that part, so I find that release date to be a little suspicious. And if it's somebody's way of playing a late April Fool's joke, going like, ha, 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 that person has a lot of explaining to do. They really do. But in my honest opinion, until we hear from Sega and Archie, I find that release date hard to believe. And if it is true, and if it, and if it does turn out to be true, I will say this. I will say this. It's not Archie that explains to do, it's Sega. Because I believe the only reason we would have a delay of any kind, any kind, is because of the fact that they are rewriting and rechanging stories in the comics to match up what Sega wants. In other words, you could still have the characters of Sally, Bunny, Antoine, Roder, and all that. But the main focus has to be on the game cast. I think that's the reason if there's a change in synopsis, a rewriting stories and all that. That's the only reason for a delay I can think of on a legitimate level. Now, positive wise though, positive wise, I can say that if there is a chance that the Freedom Fighter characters are Sonic Forces bound, we have not heard anything yet, if they're Sonic Forces bound, 
that would explain why the delay is happening. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe they want the comic to be more in line with Sonic Forces and thus be more of a reason to want to see the characters come back because it's like now they're not just a comic book characters, but they're also official game characters, finally, after 20-something years. 20, basically 25 years, if you will. So, that might be the reason, too. Maybe, maybe they want to save the return of the comic in time for Sonic Forces, and thus, not only do you have an avenue to see the Sad AM characters in comic form, but now you officially have them in game form if the Sonic Force is bound. But we'll just have to wait and see. But again, like I said, until we get a legit answer from Sega themselves and from Archie Comics themselves, I don't. I find it hard to believe that that release date on this picture that you got that was sent to me is legit. I find it hard to believe. So let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like, and I'll talk to you all later.